from Dilsey Wallop State Park. Right on the banks of Hood Canal, actually the western side of Hood Canal here in uh, western Washington. Interestingly enough, uh, this was the first state park, actually the first destination we ever had with our RV, when it, our trailer here, when it was brand new several years ago. Uh, we chose this, uh, this park because it's reasonably close to our home, uh, perhaps an hour and a half drive away, and for our sort of uh, introductory trip, we wanted to have something fairly close, just in case we had some problems, which we did not. And since then, we put over 10,000 miles on this uh, E-Pro 19FD, and it has functioned pretty flawlessly. A few, yeah, couple of minor issues, is. and that's been about it. It's really nice. And it rained a lot when we got here. It's been raining this morning, but now the sun's out. It looks beautiful, and I think we have a few days of sunshine. Yep. We have no time schedule we have to meet. There's salt water and fresh water here, both. Yes, Hood, Ca Hood Canal is a body of salt water out here, a, a very large sort of a fjord-like body of salt water which uh, runs essentially north to south and then down what they call the Great Bend, it takes a, a curve towards the east. Um, very beautiful area. And we also have the Dosi Wallops River which is uh, a fairly large freshwater river. There's uh, two forks I think both north and south, but uh, the one runs right through the campground here and you can go down there and enjoy the fresh water or walk a trail out to the beach and enjoy the salt water. There's crabbing to be had and clamming and oyster picking uh, all during season, of course, and if you're licensed appropriately. But uh, a lot of recreation around here. Some trails lead right from the campground. Uh, I forget what they're called. I think one is Maple Valley Trail. And Anyway, but, uh, you know, not super long trails. But in this area, you ha do have access to the Olympic Mountains and can hook up a lot of different trail systems and spend weeks hiking through there. I noticed this uh, park is really close to the highway. So we, highway do, get, we do get road noise, um, but it doesn't bother us. We always say it sounds like the sound of the ocean, but you do hear road noise where we're at, especially we're in a campsite that's close to the road. It also seems to be a lot of families come here. There's usually children um, riding their bikes around a paved area of the camp where the campground is. The campsites are paved, fairly level, but not completely level, um, but fairly level, easy setup, uh, full hookups, really nice. I think there's 28 full hookup sites, if I remember correctly. And uh, cabins, there's several cabins here. A lot of families stay in the cabins. A lot of tent sites, or if you're of the mind, if you have an RV, dry camping sites. And uh, this is actually, I think Dosey Wallop State Park is just a little bit over a thousand acres, so it's a pretty expansive park. We have no excuse to stay here watching TV any longer. It's time for us to get out of the camper, to get out into nature, do some hiking around. Dose Wallop State Park right here on Hood Canal and we're gonna go out onto the beach here.
we're just standing here on the observation tower here on the uh, sort of the salt marsh area, kind of the delta of the Dosi Wallops River where it drains into Hood Canal. And they've got the interpretive signs here, and essentially they're talking about the different types of shellfish that can be found here. There's uh, butter clams, softshell clams, little necks, manilas, there's oysters. In fact, we ran into a couple that just harvested some oysters off the beach here at low tide this morning, a couple of hours ago. Um, also, about at one time, the, uh, the farmers that lived in this area built a dike through here to kind of reclaim some of the marsh um, because the soil is very fertile. But that took away the marsh, the habitat of the marsh, and a lot of uh, native habitat for the uh, fauna that uh, habit inhabits this area. So in 2004, a, a local fisheries restoration group, uh, primarily focused on salmon, removed the dike, did a lot of reconstruction, and now it's gone back to where it was as God intended it originally, you know, the original salt marsh. And this is a beautiful view of the Hood Canal at Dulce Wallop State Park. And there's a nice view of my husband. <laughs> that raised area we were just standing up on and we've been taking a trail here that's going to carry us out to the water here on Hood Canal, Dulce Wallops. It's really quiet here. There are some people out there on the beach, shellfish harvesting. Just a few oysters here. some information about what's going on in the woods here at Dosi Wallops State Park. Could you let us know about that? Well actually Dosi Wallops is on the Olympic Peninsula of Western Washington State. Known for a lot of rainfall, heavy timber, a lot of vegetation and greenery. The legend has it that there are wood nymphs, wood gnomes, and from what I know, and again, this is just anecdotal, I don't have personal experience, but they've been known to cloak themselves in heavy green cloaks, kind of fuzzy green cloaks, and they gamble through the woods and enjoy themselves out there. But when humans approach, they take these big green cloaks and wrap themselves head to toe over and hug up to the trees and the logs all covered in green moss all the vegetation, and to a human, they nearly disappear completely. And so we don't see them. Oftentimes though, if you have a very, very keen eye and an open mind, you can see their forms hidden under these green coverings of moss and leaves and pine needles. You have to look carefully and okay. be very quiet okay. and tread lightly because so. they don't brook humans very yeah. well. They will take off immediately. So we are on a trek and we are going to go on some hikes and, and we are going to find them. And see if, if they're we, here, we'll find them. We'll have to look carefully Okay. and tread lightly. So we are at the beginning of the Maple Valley Trail. I believe it's about three and a half miles round trip. We expect to see a lot of interesting moss. We're going to keep our eyes out for the moss creatures. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Let's go for a walk. 
the Maple Valley Trail at Dosey Wallops. It's a jungle full of moss monkeys. Look at this gorgeous forest on this trail we're on. does have a lean to it. Friendly little creatures coming out everywhere in this moss. If you have a creative mind, or if you just enjoy having fun in nature, using your imagination, you'll see all kinds of things here. But mostly I just see a lot of beauty of God's creation. Right here we have a moss elephant. tree is pointing the way up the trail. Wait, what is that? Trees are always pointing the way. Follow the direction that the trees point. Down the trail. lightning strike and the tree it's kind of a memorial to that yeah, it looks like it kind of blew the bark right off of this side of the tree yeah this is the upper part of the phantom creek we hiked up to the top of it leaves that look just like a butterfly. And lots of fungus, or fungi. What is this, Tim? What'd we find? We found a moss dolphin. Look at that, right in the woods, a moss dolphin, leaping through the woods. There's an old silverback gorilla like the mature males, but here in this part of the country, they're greenbacks. Yeah, he's running away from us. <laughs> Another day at Dulce Wallop State Park near Brennan, Washington. Yeah, actually quite a nice day, a little overcast out there, but uh, there is some sun peeking through, so. And this is the end of April, the last week in April. We do really like it here. I think because we enjoy being out in nature. Uh, don't need to be real close to a lot of amenities here. We bring the groceries we need, so, and we don't really plan on eating out. However, there are a couple bars. Pubs. Pubs nearby. Well, and I was thinking, how about this? That maybe this afternoon we'll have an early dinner at one of the, the pubs. 
Give it a I, try. Either the Gooey Duck uh, Tavern or the Halfway House. Okay. We have tried the Gooey Duck. It's the other one we haven't tried. And for those who don't the know, halfway house. a Gooey Duck is a very large clam-like creature found uh, in this area. They're kind of kind of disgusting looking. They have smaller shells and extremely long necks. It's like a clam neck on steroids. And don't you have to dig down like a even a couple feet to get those? If you're going to harvest them, they yeah, run from you. You have to. They dig very fast. You have to be a, a very fast digger yourself and um, dig it's down probably fun. three, four feet into the sand and the muck and the mud. And a lot of people, because you have to make a big hole to get these things out of there, a lot of people take a, oh, like a small, not a tin can, but sort of a garbage like can. A like a bottomless bucket. Contain, where both ends are open and you stick that down in the hole you're digging to keep the, the sides from collapsing. And, and then you chase after after the gooey duck. Yep. We also, yesterday, we saw what we think are commercial harvesters out there. Yeah. I tried to get some video footage of that, but I had to really zoom in with my telephoto, so we'll see how that turned out. But um, that's just an interesting to see a process like that going on. It's yes. really enjoyable. So we wanted to talk about the things we dislike about this park also, but it took us a little while to come up with anything we dislike about it. Yeah, about the you only thing that, that we arrived at was that it's so close to Highway 101. We're only probably 75 feet from the roadway. And it's a little distracting during the day. At night, there's very little traffic. This is not a huge metropolis or there aren't big cities close by so it's very very quiet at night once uh, the sun goes it down. is quiet yeah I don't didn't even hear traffic last night it's like at night the traffic seems to stop any other dislikes about this place they have been pretty slim on uh, restroom facilities but we noticed right now they're building a new large facility that should really be great for people, especially who don't have RVs, who are tent camping, or even staying in the cabins. So they are uh, just about completed with a building of a new facility there. Looks like restrooms and showers. One other thing, you do have to cross up on an overpass that goes right along the highway in order to get out to the beach area where they do you know harvesting of shellfish that could be a dislike but really it's something i've i'm learning to enjoy about the park yeah. so what do you think we're ready to get outside and enjoy this place let's do it all right hey so we just walked from our campsite down this road that's the entrance to the park and we're going to walk right over here to the Gooey Duck Tavern. And this is the name of it. We're going to have dinner there. We have to cross this highway. So this is our view from the table at the Gooey Duck. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, we're here already. So we're going to go yeah. the The salad. And we're splitting a Reuben with sweet potato fries. That looks really good, doesn't it? Wow. Yum. So, Tim, are you enjoying this camping trip? Very much. We had a wonderful hike this afternoon. We were gone for two hours on this big loop trail through the forest. Peaceful and quiet, very few people. I think we saw Maybe seven, eight people all together came back, and now we're uh, walked down to the local pub and had a nice Reuben sandwich with sweet potato fries. Really yeah. good, isn't it? Yeah. We didn't have to do any meal prep, and we don't have to do any clean up. What could be better? And we have another full day here tomorrow. Yeah, and the reason we want to do this video is we enjoy these state parks in uh, Washington State, in Oregon, right here in the Pacific Northwest, so many beautiful parks. We enjoy them. The video editing's become a hobby. 
So I'm turning my hobby into a little bit of YouTube information that can help other people enjoy the beauty of our local state park. Yeah, and we're just starting out. We know these videos aren't the polished sort of uh, videos that you may see from some of the big names with the, with the content creators on YouTube that uh, do this all the time. We're just a couple of duffers here. <laughs> but we enjoy getting out and we enjoy our travel trailer. And just. Uh, seeing the great outdoors and uh, uh, we get a little silly sometimes and we did that on nah. this video <laughs> and we're trying to be more free to share that and we hope we can encourage and inspire other people and there's a <laughs> that was an abrupt cut off <laughs> and we just encourage you to get out and enjoy our parks and just, uh, you know, this uh, God-given environment out in the, the woods, on the beaches, and the waters, the rivers, Lord, it's just, the Lord has blessed us in so many ways.